today on my channel we shall discuss about electron beam machining process so today we will discuss about introduction to electron beam machining process to study about its construction to study about its working principle and to discuss about its applications advantages and disadvantages so what is electron beam machining process electron beam machining process is a non conventional machining process for machining materials with the use of a high velocity beam of electron the workpiece is held in a vacuum chamber and electron beam is focused on to it by deflection coil as electrons strike the workpiece their kinetic energy is converted into heat this concentrated heat raises the temperature of workpiece material and vaporizes a small amount of it resulting in removal of metal from a workpiece here a vacuum chamber is provided to avoid collision of electron with other gas molecules from this well illustrated diagram let us discuss about construction of electron beam machine it consists of electron gun vacuum chamber dc power supply vacuum generation unit inside a vacuum chamber there is electron gun workpiece and work table here electron gun consists of tungsten filament cathode anode diaphragm focusing lens deflector coil etc so let us discuss about working principle of electron beam machining process inside a vacuum chamber vacuum is generated by vacuum generation unit this is electron gun this is tungsten filament this filament is like filament in electric bulb when current is passed through it it gets heated to a temperature about 2500 degree celsius the real purpose of this filament is to act as heater for the cathode when cathode is heated by the filament the swarm of negative electric particles known as electrons is actually boiled off the surface of cathode the electrons remain in the space until they are acted upon other element of electron gun this is anode which is a hollow metal cylinder which carries high positive charge as we know unlike charge attract each other hence electron given off by the cathode are drawn to anode at terrific speed they pass through aperture in form of controlled beam without colliding through it a potential difference of 50 to 150 volt is maintained between cathode and anode as such electrons passing through anode are accelerated to achieve as high velocity as around 2/3 of light this high velocity electron stream after leaving the anode passes through tungsten diaphragm and then through the focusing lens by then the stream is quite aligned and focusing lens manages to focus it precisely on desired spot on the workpiece the electromagnetic deflector coil then deflects this aligned stream on the work through which the path of cut can be controlled further table on which workpiece is loaded can also be transferred to feed the workpiece as needed this high velocity beam of electron impinges on the workpiece where kinetic energy is released and get converted into heat energy the high intensity heat so produced 
melt and vaporizes the work material at the spot of beam impingement. By alternately focusing and turning of the beam, the cutting process can be continued as long it is needed. So, let us discuss about applications of electron beam machining process. Electron beam machining process is very effective for machining of material of low heat conductivity and high melting point. It is used for micro machining operations on the workpiece for thin section. Micro drilling operation up to 2 microns for thin orifices, dies for the wire drawing, parts of electron microscopes, injection nozzle for the diesel engines, etc. can be manufactured by use of electron beam machining process. So, let us discuss about advantages of electron beam machining process. Any material can be machined. Workpiece is not subjected to any physical or metallurgical damage. Problem of tool wear is non-existent, so close dimensional tolerance can be achieved. Excellent technique for micro-machining. Its disadvantages are High initial investment is needed. Highly skilled operator required to perform the operation. Workpiece size is limited due to requirement of vacuum in the chamber. Low rate of material removal. High power consumption. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share my video.